I'd like to talk to you today about our president and his lion and uh, this Chinese balloon. When that balloon was spotted over Alaska, Joe was on video saying they didn't want to shoot it down then because the water was too deep to retrieve it. Now here comes the lies. When it was over Montana, Joe changed his story to we don't want to shoot it down because we're afraid of collateral damage. What are you going to, you going to drop it on a prairie dog? Maybe a cow? But for five days, Joe and our government allowed it to do whatever it wanted to do over the United States. We have to ask, why? Who are you in bed with, Joe? Who pulls your strings? They keep your balls in a sack somewhere and let you use them every once in a while? What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard O'Jetta here. And buckle up, folks. This man is lighting up a cigarette to let us know just how serious the situation is. Coming to us from his man shed up in them there mountains somewhere. Yeehaw. For five days, this balloon was allowed to traverse the United States, taking pictures, listening to communications, whatever it was doing. Now, a reasonable person would think, hey, the Chinese have technology that more than likely was sending the information it was gathering right to China almost immediately. I don't believe the Chinese had an expectation of ever retrieving this balloon and getting the information. It was already sent. The idea that this person may or may not be politically involved is irrelevant because he decided to express his concerns about the Chinese government farming American data by using a Chinese app on his phone that was probably made in China. Both things that will definitely take your data. Your online presence is stored in some server somewhere, whether it's an American technology or foreign. So that's already going on. And you know who is sounding the alarms on the big tech companies and their threats to Americans. It wasn't the Republicans at first, I'll tell you that much. Speaking of lies, look at the southern border. Oh, Joe says, I need your help to close that border. Joe, when you got into office, you were the one that said, the border's open. Come on in. Now you need help to close it? Now he also has the bright idea to drop this balloon just wherever in the United States by thinking that if it's a big enough state with a small enough population, then it's worth the risk to just let it fall wherever it may. Except we would like to try and not accidentally take out an American citizen or their property by dropping an unknown technology on their land. It's typically best practice to avoid that collateral damage. You seem a little too casual about there, Mr. Plaid and Realtree. And then, of course, he has to throw in a couple sprinkles of conspiracy to make sure his MAGA followers are nice and content. And then it never fails. The open border question. I have heard more Republicans on record stating how open the border is than any Democrat in the last year. So I'm wondering where that line came from and people in other countries hearing about it. I'd imagine it's not the Democrats blasting that all over the airwaves. These people really think of the border between the United States and Mexico as some giant door that just opens and shuts and the button is on the president's desk. They really don't understand the complex nature of international borders or the layers of policy that affect those borders. You know, they complain about the apprehensions at the border without knowing that it means that those people didn't get across illegally. They attempted to, but were caught doing it. You don't hear that other half of the conversation on Fox News. This man talks about asking more questions and being more aware of the potential lies the government tells us, but something tells me he's not asking those same questions about OAN or Newsmax when that news comes on. I would implore him and any other person who is of like mind to try and use just a touch of the skepticism he has for the Democrats toward the lies that conservative media uses to rile up people like him into believing nonsense conspiracy theories. If you think that they have your best interests at heart, you would be sorely mistaken, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.